College News, brought to you by the Murray State News. Welcome to the College News. I'm Deontay Berry. And I'm DeCorian Walker. We begin with the ring of car thefts in Murray. That's right. Multiple incidents of vehicle theft were reported on the north side of Murray last week. In a press release on April 13th, the Murray Police Department said they were working cases of theft from vehicles around the Vintage Hill and Opportunity Drive area, an area many Murray State students live in. Cars were unlocked in many of these circumstances. Joey Rice, Detective Sergeant at Murray State Police Department, advises students on and off campus to lock their vehicles. Also remove all valuables out of sight. So, you know, things like GPS's, phones, purses in the floorboard, you know, wallets. Um, they're, they're looking in windows, walking around parking lots, and they're looking for valuable items that they can, you know, snatch pretty quickly. Rice also advises students to track serial numbers for their valuable items and to download the LiveSafe app. This Friday, April 22nd, is Earth Day. To celebrate, the Murray Environmental Student Society has a variety of activities planned for the week. Monday, the organization hosted a campus trash pickup. Tuesday, they taught students how to turn plastic bags into yarn. Tonight at 5.30, there will be a potluck at the Arboretum. And Thursday, they will be turning t-shirts into bags. For more information, see the organization's Instagram page, MSU underscore M-E-S-S. Get ready for a smackdown. Order of Omega will hold its first ever philanthropy event. The Greek Life Honor Society is hosting Spike Ball Smackdown at Hamilton Field on April 26th from 5 to 8 p.m. The event had to be rescheduled because of the new date for all campus scene. So our event is called the Spike Ball Smackdown. It is a spike ball tournament for the fraternities and sororities so we have a fraternity division and a sorority division and teams of two from every organization will play spike ball um, to find like the ultimate champion all proceeds will go to hope calloway to help prevent homelessness do you want to de-stress with some furry friends and learn tips about mental health racers empower healthy minds healthy campus is set to celebrate the end of the semester with this event Active April, along with pet therapy, will be held in the Alexander Hall Atrium on Monday, April 25th at 11 a.m. Active April will feature lawn games and tips and activities for handling stress and emotional well-being. Jennifer Smith, the Assistant Director of Student Engagement and one of the Racers and Power Coordinators, says an increase of instances of anxiety and depression has been reported by college students across the nation since the beginning of the pandemic. Along with the end of the semester, final exams and projects are right around the corner, which can add to the stress. To stay updated on the events and activities hosted by Racers in Power, follow the Division of Student Affairs on Instagram at Student Affairs Murray State and on Facebook at Murray State University Student Affairs. The BFA Senior Art Exhibition was held last Friday, April 15th, at the Clara M. Eagle Gallery on the sixth floor of the Old Fine Arts Building. College news reporter Nick Jackson has more. Graduating students got a chance to put their artwork on display in the gallery for public viewing. Seniors submitted various kinds of artwork showcasing their talent and drawing attention to personal matters that inspired their success. Art and design professor Jim Bryant said that the students have worked hard over numerous semesters on crafting these pieces and creating an extension of themselves through their artwork. Like any uh, senior student in art or graphic design, they have a a big senior project that they work for three semesters on just coming to this culmination of uh, uh, to have this show to show off what they can do. The second round of senior exhibitions is set for next Friday, April 29th in the Claire M. Eagle Gallery. If you missed this Friday's exhibition, the Eagle Gallery will keep this round of senior pieces displayed until the 21st. The gallery is open for viewing on the sixth floor of the Old Fine Arts from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The Murray State TV Club elected a new slate of officers for the coming school year. Dylan Norton was elected president, Zach Claggett, the vice president, Abby Mikalek, the secretary, and Nick Kendall, the treasurer. The four say they have big plans for the future of TV Club. This includes showcasing Claggett's short film grief next month. TV Club meets Tuesday at 6 p.m. on the 8th floor of the Fine Arts Building. The men's basketball team has added another player to the roster for next season. We turn to Connor Capito for sports. Connor? 
Coach Prom has his first commitment from the transfer portal. Quincy Anderson, a 6'4 guard who has played the last four years at Minnesota State, made the official announcement with this Twitter statement, reading in part, I'm so blessed to announce I'll continue my basketball and academic journey at Murray State University. The softball team swept Tennessee State in a three-game series over the weekend. With those victories, they clinched their fifth 30-win season in program history and the first since 2017. It was also their 14th straight home win. In the first game of the Saturday doubleheader, pitcher Hannah James set the program record for most strikeouts in a career at 491. She also set the record for most strikeouts in a single season at 159. The team will be back at home today as they face off against Southern Illinois at 3 p.m. and they will stay at home over the weekend as SEMO comes to town. On to baseball. On Thursday, they snapped their eight-game losing streak with a 5-3 victory over UT Martin. They also picked up victories on Friday and Saturday to complete the sweep. In Saturday's series finale, Jacob Pennington came in relief in the sixth inning. In that inning, he struck out two while allowing no runs. The team will be away at Eastern Illinois this weekend for a three-game series starting on Friday. They will then be at home Tuesday as they take on Alabama A&M at 5 p.m. That's all for sports. Back to you, D. The Department of Global Languages and Theater Arts the Holder Culture Club, Alpha Mu Gamma, the Japanese Club, and the International Student Organization are hosting a kite festival and plant sale on Saturday, April 23rd at the Murray State Arboretum. At the event, people have the opportunity to partake in several fun events, including kite making, passport adventure, and international crafts. The plant sale will begin at 8 a.m. with the kite festival starting at 10 a.m. The event is free and open to the public. For more information on this event, visit Murray State Global Languages on Instagram. That's all for this week's edition of the College News. Pick up a copy of the Murray State News on newsstands tomorrow and join us back here next Wednesday for another edition of the College News. Have a great week.